in today's lesson, we'll be looking into what a healthy diet looks like uh, and why we need to care. My name is Mr. Watts. This is What's Your Question. Let's go. I have three objectives for you today, which are placed here. The first one is to name the different um, nutrients that we require in our diets to remain healthy, to describe what a healthy diet looks like, and explain what some deficiencies in these different nutrients would look like in a person as well. There are seven different nutrients we need to talk about for a healthy diet. Each of them is really important for different reasons. And the different nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, which are called fats, which are made up of fats and oils as well. Uh, we have minerals, we have vitamins, we have fiber, and we have water. All seven of those are essential for a healthy diet, and you need to make sure you're getting certain amounts of each one of those to have as beneficial an effect as you possibly can. We're going to start by talking about carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates are foods we eat to try and get hold of energy. Um, you would eat more carbohydrates if you're trying to do more, more vigorous work during the day. Uh, and carbohydrates are found in foods like pasta and potatoes uh, and also in sugary foods as well. There are different types of carbohydrates uh, and depending on which type that you eat, uh, the energy is released more quickly or more slowly. We have simple uh, carbohydrates, uh, which are sugars. And these are quick release uh, in terms of energy. They're broken down very fast inside the body. Uh, they're used in your body for respiration as well. Uh, and they are um, found in things like chocolates uh, and other foods such as that, uh, sweets and other stuff that's not particularly good for you. These are not generally as good because of that quick release. They don't last for a very short, long, very long amount of time. So they're not great if you're trying to do extended um, exercise or work. Complex carbohydrates are slightly different because these are made up of long chains of sugars. Uh, these are found in foods that are more starchy, like pastas and potatoes, uh, and these are broken down more slowly because they're long chains of sugars. We've got to break the chain down for the reaction to then be able to happen for us to use them. Because of this, the energy is released much more slowly, so complex carbohydrates keep you more energized for longer periods of time. As I said, pastas um, and uh, potatoes and rices and things like that contain complex carbohydrates. Proteins uh, are found in our body um, or are needed for our body uh, to grow and, and to repair different parts of it as well. Um, they're generally found in foods like meats, nuts, eggs, uh, your tofu, your corn and other foods like that as well and certain vegetables contain protein as well. I know kale uh, is very high in protein uh, and people who are trying to grow bigger we'll need to make sure they're eating as much of those foods as possible. Next we have fats or um, lipids is also another name for these. Uh, oily foods contain fats uh, and they are useful to our body because again they're another source of energy. Uh, they're also how we store energy inside our bodies uh, so fat is a really important um, thing for you. It provides insulation in the cold months uh, and also can protect your organs uh, from any damage if you have large amounts of fat in there as well. Certain foods also contain vitamins. Uh, vitamins are really, really important to our body. We generally find these in fruits and vegetables uh, and the more of these you eat, the better. You need to make sure you have a certain amount of each of these because all the different vitamins uh, have really important jobs inside your body. We have vitamin A, which helps your eyesight. We have vitamin C, which is good for your immune system. Uh, and we have vitamin D, which helps our body uh, work with calcium to make our bones and teeth and nails uh, strong and do the jobs they need to do. They are all essential. If you're not getting enough, there are several warning signs for each of them as well. Like vitamins, we also find minerals inside certain foods. These are generally found in your fruits and veg again. Uh, but the minerals, uh, again, do the same, a similar sort of thing. They're required for growth, uh, for, to help your body function the right way, uh, and different parts of them do different jobs. Uh, lots of the, if you get iron in your food, you end up with um, able to make enough red blood cells. Without enough iron, you can't do that. And we'll talk about more of the effects of that in a second. Uh, when it comes to calcium, again, calcium is needed in conjunction with vitamin D to make it so your teeth, your nails, your bones can be strong and healthy like they're supposed to be. Next, we have fiber. Fiber can't be broken down by your digestive system, but it is essential for you to allow food to move through your digestive system. Uh, without this, uh, you end up getting constipated. Uh, so having enough of this means that you are then able to properly digest and excrete your food in the correct way. Um, you need to make sure you're eating fiber as much as possible um, and that's found in those as vegetables and other uh, fruits and things like that and roughage uh, are generally going to provide those for you to be able to do what you need to do. Foods uh, high in fiber 
uh, generally something people have for their breakfast to try and make sure that their body is then able to do all the things it needs to do throughout the day. The final one of these we need to talk about is water. Water is essential for your body because you're made up of 70% water. And now your body, your cells, each, sorry, each of your cells is 70% water, uh, and those cells use that water up in respiration uh, and you lose it when you get hot. Now if they drop to a too low an amount of water, you start to have serious problems and that's when dehydration is going to start to happen inside your body. It's essential then that we're constantly replenishing and replacing that water as much as possible. It's really important you make sure you drink over a litre of water every single day to make sure that you're providing your body with the water that it needs. In terms of a healthy diet, they do look different for everybody, but there are certain recommendations that people like doctors tend to make to make our diet as healthy as possible. The main one of these is to try and make sure for most people that your diet's gonna contain a, probably a third of a plate uh, of your carbohydrates, of your, of your um, food that's gonna give you energy, uh, a third of your plate that's going to be those vegetables uh, and the other third of your plate should be your proteins and your fats. Now the amount of that plate depends entirely on the person's lifestyle that's eating them but this is a good guideline for the average diet to make sure you're healthy. You'll notice in the diagram here the fat section is much smaller than the protein section. You shouldn't be eating too much of that uh, throughout the day and also of the carbohydrates they're better to be the complex carbohydrates and not those simple sugars that we talked about. This plate would change if you're doing specific things so if you're an athlete who goes running a lot there's going to be more carbohydrates in your diet. If you're something like a bodybuilder or someone trying to build muscle there's going to be large amounts of protein in your diet. As we said, protein's essential in growth and repair. So in order to build those muscles, you're going to need to have enough protein to allow that to happen. A deficiency in any of these diseases is a massive problem for our body. And these pictures all point to specific deficiencies you may come across. Uh, one of the pictures on here is of blood. Now the blood uh, is to show uh, an iron deficiency. Iron is used in your body in creating more red blood cells. And if you don't have enough red blood cells, you can't transport enough oxygen around your body and you can't make enough energy. People who have this end up with a disease called anemia, where they then start to, to pass out because they haven't got enough energy, uh, start to get really tired all the time because they've not got enough energy. Uh, and this is all because of an iron deficiency. And it can be cured really easily uh, with iron tablets. It's really common in women because obviously they bleed a lot during their menstrual cycle. Uh, and so this one is really, really common. So if people notice they get really tired, um, go to their, you should go to your doctor uh, and you should just tell them and they can do tests to make sure you have enough of the things you need. Also, you can see bananas. These are for potassium. Uh, potassium deficiencies are, are ones that affect the nervous system in your body. Now, the nervous system is obviously really, really important for you to feel pain, for you to be able to know what you're doing and control your body. If that's not working properly, you can have serious issues. Uh, the x-ray is to show the bones because, as we said earlier on, uh, calcium is necessary to keep your bones uh, healthy and so is vitamin D. If you're not getting enough of either of those things, your bones are going to become weaker and you're going to start having problems with those uh, as well. The person holding their stomach is for people that don't eat enough fibre because they will end up with constipation uh, and the bottom... Uh, right hand image you can see, or bottom left hand image you can see on here, sorry, uh, is one of Quashiorka. Now this is a really common de uh, deficiency shown in uh, third world countries because protein is a really difficult nutrient for them to get hold of. They end up with these swollen stomachs. If you ever see charity adverts to raise money for people who are starving, you will see them with big swollen stomachs. Now this is because they have this deficiency disease called Quashiorka, which causes this as a sign of it. It is a massive problem uh, and providing them with protein is the only way to help it and make it better. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe, stay alert, stay curious and subscribe.